Okay, welcome back. In uh, previous video, we discussed uh, AlexNet, which actually won the ImageNet competition in 2012. The next very successful uh, convolutional neural network is VGG and is introduced originally in uh, 2014. Um, VGG uh, uh, convolutional neural network actually consists of VGG blocks. So let's first see the idea behind a VGG block. A VGG block basically let me let me write as VGG block basically consists of a convolutional layer. Normally the convolutional layer is a three by three with padding equals to one and stride is always one in this particular case. So the convolutional layer uh, three by three filter with padding one always keeps the original dimensions of the input tensor. So that, and then we can have another convolutional layer again three by three with padding one and stride one. Then we can have another convolutional layer three by three with padding one and stride one. And we may have several convolutional layers in succession, each with same kind of parameters. And after uh, after a few convolutions, uh, how many convolutions in a block may be there? It depends. I mean, it varies block to block. And uh, in, in a particular block, after uh, applying uh, some of the convolution layers, finally, uh, they basically apply a pool layer, which is max pool. So the type is max. And uh, it's a two by two max pool with stride equals to two, which means the spatial dimension of the input tensor actually halves. So that basically is a, is a VGG block, which goes like this. So convolution, 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 and then a max pool. That's one block, VGG block. Um, in different kind of blocks, the number of convolution layers, I mean, for example, maybe the first block has two convolution layers followed by a max pool. The second block, VGG block may have three convolutions and then a max pool and so on. So the number of uh, convolution layers, they, they may vary. They, they may vary. Uh, the, the number of convolution layers in each VGG block may vary. But the VGG net basically then builds up on these VGG blocks. So for example, VGG block one, block one. Then we have VGG block two. And then we have may have several blocks, VGG block, let's say five. And then we may have a fully connected layer with certain values here. Then we have fully connected layer with certain values. Then we have a fully connected layer with certain number of number of units. It turns out that the uh, VGG network deploys the fully connected layers are exactly identical to the AlexNet, which means the 4096 then we have 4096, then we have 40, uh, 1000, 4000 classes for ImageNet. So in the, in the very original uh, uh, VGG network, uh, it has five convolutional blocks. It has five VGG blocks, basically. The first two blocks, the block one and block two, basically has one convolutional layers. So one conv layer, one conv layer in each block. The subsequent three blocks has uh, two conv layers each. So two conv layers, two conv layers, two conv layers. Obviously each block ends at a max pool. And um, the first block has 64 uh, channels. And each subsequent block actually doubles the number of output channels until the total number of channels, they actually reach 512. And if we count the total number of convolutional layers in all the blocks, uh, so one plus one plus two plus two plus two, so eight convolutional layers. And then we have three fully connected layers. So total, they count these convolutional layers and fully connected layers. So, so these total, they become 11. And they call this network as VGG11. The nonlinearities they deploy were all ReLUs, except the last layer, fully connected layer. And uh, the, the pooling always they deploy as max pooling. Also, the idea of block-to-block uh, -block spatial dimension is reduction is half from every block. So the spatial dimensions, if for example, if 224 by 224 
uh, spatial dimensions interest in the first block then the second block will receive the input dimensions to be half of 224 by 224 and that actually consistently followed by uh, such subsequent blocks other than vgg 11 models the successful models are vgg uh, 16 and vgg 19 are also available so uh, this in this particular vgg uh, convolutional neural network vgg network basically the idea of vgg blocks uh, basically was introduced that actually then after then carried out the the block um, the block visualization or the block view of convolutional neural networks it actually is carried out afterwards from vgg in uh, residual networks and inception nets as well so we will see uh, res uh, ResNets and InceptionNet in, in our upcoming videos as well. So hope to see you in the next video.